Hi, Dr. Justice here again. Let's now get to the stage of using the app where you have input uh, the right GRS score and now you're getting the result of it. You'll see now that depending on your GRS score, whether it's a green score, a yellow score, or a red score, the result that you will get back will be completely different. There are a ton of very sophisticated algorithms that were designed to make sure that you're getting the right input in terms of the adjustment to make. Remember again that we define mental strength as making the right adjustment on the golf course. Again, this is all predicated on you having answered the questions that are relevant to you, that are part of who you are, that are going to have the most impact on you. You have also uploaded the right pictures that I've covered in the other videos. So let's say that you hit a star or a one or a two. That's really good. You hit a shot either exactly the, like the way that you wanted to or pretty darn close to it. You are going to get a response and all the responses that the app is going to give you, the adjustments are going to have three components to it. The first is a neuroactivity. So this is something that we have used with the machines. We have done thousands of these tests. We know that they're going to do two things to the brain waves. Number one, they're going to lower them, which is a good thing. But secondly, they're going to lower them for a long enough period of time for you to execute the next shot. Depending on the activity and where you are, those uh, that, that can have an impact of anywhere from a few seconds to several minutes. In this case over here, it is recommending 3F, which are feels. Um, and if you click on the information button over here, it'll tell you exactly how to execute that shot. So I have hit a green shot. There's not a lot of adjustments that I have to do, but I'm going to consume something nonetheless, because I don't want my brain to get ahead. I don't want to, my brain to wander you know, someplace else. I want it to wander, but to wander to a good place. So it's giving you something to do. It's also giving you a memory of having a really good dinner at a restaurant. And it's giving you a picture of a very beautiful you know, golf hole uh, with the ocean in the background and a bunker and you know, just something pleasant to occupy your mind. Uh, nothing heavy, nothing serious. Let's say now you are now in yellow. You have hit a three, a uh, four, a five, or, or, or a six. Well, now your brain is far away from your zone. The brain waves are higher. So there are different adjustments that you have to make, but it's the same thing. We've given you an activity. We have given you something from your yellow card, which is one of the best shots you've hit with your nine iron. And the picture there is also something that is a lot more meaningful than say a golf hole. This is a picture of my wife and my dog and we're on the lake that I live in. And it was a cloudy fall, um, cold evening that we decided uh, to just go out. And it's a wonderful memory where she and I just had a glass of wine um, sitting uh, on, on the lake. You can choose by the way, to either do just one of them or two of them or all three of them. But by giving yourself something that can lower your brain waves without having to remember it, because remember when you're yellow, your brain is at 40% or less. It's not going to remember these things. So it is a good reminder to get your brain back towards, uh, towards green, towards the lower frequency. So you can get the muscle sequencing, the force, as well as your ability to hold the target are all enhanced. Let's go to red now. Again, you'll see that the tools, the neural tool that is given to you here is designed to have a much more immediate impact and to bring those brain waves down very quickly because if you're red, it means that the brain waves spiked really quickly. It's also giving your childhood memory. In my case, this is a, um, a botanical garden that my family and I, when we were little, we used to go and have a lot of barbecues and, uh, and picnics. And the picture is much, much more impactful to me. It's a picture again of my wife and my two children. And this particular picture was taken uh, at a dinner that we had somebody cook for us. So you can see already just by making my mind think about these things, my brain waves are beginning to go down. The key with all of this, this is very important. I don't want you to have a transactional relationship with, with what these activities uh, are. I want you to feel them, digest them, give your brain two or three seconds to look at the picture, to remember that picture, to think of that memory, whether it's a shot or a, or a restaurant or a childhood place. Let your brain go there for two or three seconds, remember something about it. And that's the key for this having an impact to you. 
making these adjustments again is mental strength. Good luck.